Well, hello again. It's been actually, 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 already off to a good start. It really hasn't been that long, as I was going to say until I fucked myself over. But, um, anyway, so, considering the fact that a couple of days ago that I got the, uh, Minecraft community up and running, I kind of figured that I'm going to have to take the initiative, get up off my ass, and start being a little bit more social and a little bit more active as far as YouTube is concerned. And from time to time, though, there are a good uh, spans where I don't have very much of anything to show, but I mean, looking around here, everyone's probably wanting to see what all this is, but the title of the video will have already hinted as to what we're getting ready to do, and it's because uh, a certain, a couple of subscribers, or maybe even just plain viewers, I'm not even sure if they're subscribers yet, but a couple of folks have been asking me to do a tutorial on how I do my bows and my sterns for most of my generic, you know, cruise ship vessels. You know, so, I mean, this battleship is a lot more of a, an extravagant bow design, but it seems like most people are just asking about how to do the bow of a cruise ship and stuff. So I kind of figured, since I'm not doing anything today, I'm kind of bored and I don't plan on going anywhere, might as well just do it, because it's really not that difficult. I mean, for me anyway. Because, you know, then again, everybody has their own different skill sets, and everybody knows what they can do, what they can't do, and of course they want to build things that they're not entirely sure how to build, and it's kind of a little bit of a jump out of their comfort zone. So I kind of set me up a little spot right here to kind of give you a, a simplistic rundown of kind of like a more common bow design, and I'll kind of show you how I do the curvature towards the end of the bow to make it, you know, flow with the uh, sides of the hull and stuff like that. So if you're like following along, or if you're just wanting to see what I do, and then you just kind of go off and do it yourself, and here's what we're getting ready to do. I picked me a little spot, and my the common, well I mean it seems like my block of choice anymore, but you know, would be red concrete. I mean, of course, the uh, the underbelly of my big cruise ship over there is made out of redstone because I started building that like four years ago. Minecraft hasn't been that far along way back then. So now that we got red concrete, this is probably the number one choice for, you know, uh, hulls and stuff. So, um, I'm, let's see here. Most people have different ways of doing it, but here's how I do it. So I would go below the water, build up the tower of blocks, and then you have the one little block sitting above the water. Now I'm going to say that this is the very tip, the very nose of the bow. So then what I usually do, I usually make the tip just one block, and then I start doing two. And so say like this is the very tip, so you do two on this side. So this kind of indicates which way your ship's going to face, and then I just keep repeating uh, twos diagonally, because it seems like for me, just doing sets of twos for however long seems to have the most, most well-angled nose for a large bow. So, going along here, I should probably equip some speed potion just to make this go by just a little bit quicker. Ta-da! Yeah, now I get my little trigger fingers to get going. So, let's see. Yeah, we'll do about that wide. And I guess we'll just go ahead and do that to the other side real quick. And usually I'd chop this out, but, you know, I'm going to take this couple little seconds to just be like, How you doing? Because, you know, I'm doing better. I had me a good 4th of July, had like a little family get-together, pool party, flipped some burgers, shot some fireworks, you know, swam in the pool until almost night. Yeah, it's kind of nice when you have a pool, and that's one too far. So, let's see, this is about as wide as I'm going to uh, make my demonstration bow. So, so let's see, now I guess the next part would be to show you how to do the curvature, you know, to give it a nice organic flow, kind of like what you see over there. So now that we have our sets of twos, however far we want the ship to be, or however wide we want it to be, it's going to be slightly wider than this, because then what I do, you know, considering the size, I mean, it all kind of comes down to how big your ship is. That will ultimately kind of figure how much you're going to have to make and how rounded you're going to have to make the size of the hull. But for a ship this size, let's see, i got twos here, so now I'm going to do a couple of threes, let's say about, we'll do Two sets of threes, and then two sets of fives. So three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. And then this row of blocks would kind of indicate where the actual sides of your hull would be. So now kind of going back over here. Let's see, three sets of three. Do, 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 do. My speed potion just wore out. Alright, so that should be this three sets of three. Make sure it's all nice and parallel. Yep, re-equip the speed potion. I call it speed potion even though it's swiftness. I'm probably grinding people's gears whenever I call it speed potion. And then two sets of fives. And there we have it. So, that's kind of the, the process that I use to, you know, put down the layout or the schematic of my hulls. 
So, as you can see, it's got like the pretty decent pointed end, and it's got the rounded sides to line up with the hull. Now, the probably more interesting part everybody's wanting to f figure out is how the hell do you kind of build the slope, or the, uh, uh, I don't know what that'd be called, the beam? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not exactly, you know, a pro whenever it comes to complete ship terminology, I just kind of know the basics. So, let's see here. Um... Well, if I had to kind of do a, a very simplistic way of just building a traditional bow, let's see, you know what, I would use black, but I'm going to use white just to uh, color code it a little bit, and I'll slap some gray in there while we're at it. <coughs> Excuse me. So, this is the water line. So, I normally always do like one or two more red blocks above the water line, but I guess since it's a smaller vessel, you know, hypothetically, I'm just going to do one. So, then we'd have the one. And then I'd put, uh, a, I always have a row of white blocks above my water line just to kind of give it that whole ocean liner scheme, or, I don't know, people have their own way of doing it. So, and then from here, I would take my color of choice as to whatever the hull's going to be, and from the very tip of the bow, I would start doing this, you know, little stair setup. And this is quite literally the easiest way to just build a bow, rather, I mean, because of course it's going to be a consistent slope all the way up when you do it like this. And of course, I would imagine some people are, are going to be wanting to know how to do kind of like more curved bows, like the uh, front end of that battleship over there. But um, I, I guess just to get you started, this is going to be kind of like the starter tutorial on how to build a bow. So I'll, I'll save some of the more organic, you know, showcases, you know, for some time down the line. So you go up however far you want the bow to be, you know, how many decks you want to try to squeeze in there. And so you kind of get a little something like this. It's very simplistic, you know, nothing really too extravagant, but it gets the job done. And then so, um, I guess the next uh, part would be, well, re-equip swiftness, and then stretch this back a couple of blocks. So I can kind of give you a proper demonstration here. Da -da -da. And then also go ahead and take the white and just stack it up however much. So yeah, the, the the rows of blocks that are in line with the water line are going to be flush with one another. I mean, for me anyway. And then, let's see, now the part you're all wanting to know is just how to, you know, feed it along the edges without it looking all funky or getting the blocks miscounted. Since I have the one block as the uh, tip and then it goes into twos, this is what makes it extremely easy, for me anyway. Pretty much all you're doing is you're just going to be doing an overlapping step pattern, just like this. So it's kind of like, it, it, it keeps it still keeps a consistent, you know, two blocks, but it overlaps on one another. So as you keep going up, and then you jump over to the next one, see how it just kind of like lock, lines up? It doesn't exactly overlap, you know, with each individual row of blocks. It's just like they're stacked on top of each other, but, you know, you're not like overstretching it, and they like overlap. So... That's how I do my bows, because I uh, most people, I would imagine, build it from the top, I mean from the bottom up, so they usually build it layer by layer by layer. I actually just kind of start from the front and work my way back. So it's kind of a different way of doing things, so you know, you just, you just keep going with this pattern on both sides. And, so, and then it all just kind of lines up and it flows. So you go however far up you want, put the cap on it where you want the deck to be, and that's what you get. So that's how I do my bows, you know, well that's how I started doing my bows, because everybody always has to have a starting place, and then I just kind of worked it from there. Now, um, real quick, I guess I should kind of show you how to keep the patterns going along with the curvature of the bow here. So let's see, here's a 2 here, so I'm going to use that as a starting point. Build, build up the water line for the uh, blocks that kind of curve around the edge. And let's see, put the white on top of here. Do, 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 do. Ooh, well, yeah, okay. Now, um, real quick, what you want to go ahead and do once you, well, I mean, whenever you have your hypothetical water line in place, um, you want to go ahead and just repeat the same pattern of what you did on the very nose of the bow on the uh, row of blocks that indicate the very edge of the hull. So, so like right here, you would start, you know, building the angle. Oh shit. Oops. You can start building the angle as to what you had the very front of the bow. And just build that up out. Oh shit. Damn it. I can't ever get that right. Or, never mind. 
So, 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 yeah, the, the side of the hull is going to be the same angular slope as the front. I know there are techniques where people can build more organic, you know, hull designs where the further and further back you go, the lower half of the hull blocks start to curve backwards to kind of give it a bit, a bit more of a, uh, I don't know, like a bubblish look. But I'm just kind of doing this, like it's like it's uh, the starter tutorial, just to kind of get you up on your feet and kind of give you better ideas on how to build ships. So let's see. Since we're at the pattern now, where the hull curves around the, uh, or the bow curves to the hull. Um, so let's see. We have our row of twos here that I indicated. So this would be where the uh, blocks kind of overlap, because on these sets of twos, it's just going to be this same pattern up until you get to the uh, blocks that are more than two. So whenever you get to threes, this is where things start changing up. So. These are rows of two, two uh, blocks of twos, right? So it's going to be two, 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 you know, so on and so forth. And whenever you get to the threes, what you want to do is you actually want to stretch it, you know, start in the middle and then stretch it three. So then, so these are twos and it overhangs by one. So actually a better way to put it is to make sure you have one block of overhang and then add however many blocks to make it the same number of blocks of what you got down on the waterline. So you got three, and then what you're going to be doing is just stacking it up, you know, in threes, while still maintaining the stair pattern. I'm pretty sure the way I'm explaining this makes absolutely no sense, but considering the fact that you can see what I'm doing, you know, it's probably easier for, for you to be a visual learner than a verbal learner. Because for me, I understand things better when I see it, rather than listening somebody explain it. So probably watching what I'm doing, you're probably already getting the, uh, the gist as to how this stuff works. So now, since we have uh, three sets of threes, we're just going to keep repeating that whole, you know, stair setup with three blocks in a row, and you just keep stacking them up, following the same pattern as to what you have at the tip of the bow and inside of the bow. Though, granted, of course, I did skip a whole chunk just to kind of show you the basics on how to do it, because from the, from the tip all the way until you get to the curve of where your bow is, it's going to be the same damn pattern as long as you keep doing the, the whole two, uh, two block setup. So, primarily, you, all you need to know is how to do the tip, how to get the sides going, and then how to get the curve to flow. So, let's see, we got um, three sets of threes, so you just keep doing the threes here. Do, 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 however much. And I'm trying to th think about how the hell I'm going to explain this, because... See, so now we're past the, the threes, now we have the two sets of fives. And it's just like the threes, because you want to make sure you have the one block of overhang, and then just count them back to match the number of blocks on the waterline. So we have one, two, three, four, five. See, so there's always going to be one block of overhang and one block of underhang, <laughs> if that if that's even a word. And if, and you just kind of fill in the space, and it just continues the stair setup. So pretty much you're just taking a line of five blocks and just scooting it forward by one block each level, if that makes more simple sense in a way. So then, you know, jump back to the next five, you have the one block of overhang, and then the one block of underhang is where the other, the next row of overhang is going to meet. So that's three, four, five. So then it just kind of works like that. Just like that. I, I don't know. I mean, I guess you'll let me know down in the comments if this actually helped you out or if this just sucked or if it didn't make any sense or if you're wanting me to do more, but... For starters, and kind of a little bit of a quicker video so people can kind of get a better idea and just kind of start getting on their own ship projects, that's pretty much the basics of all you need to know. How to get the um, angle of the front end, and how to, you know, map out the schematics of the waterline, and if, you know, I kind of showed you how to give it a little bit of curvature to your sides of, the, of your bow. I keep wanting to say hull before bow for some reason, I don't know why. I mean, it is a Friday, and surprisingly, I was off work today because they made us work yesterday on the 4th of July, so they were giving us a three-day weekend as a trade-off. So, yay, but I still got fireworks and stuff and all that last night. So, um, this pretty much kind of simplifies or, you know, summarizes everything that I'd have to sh uh, show you how to build a bow, you know, for starters. Sometime, like I've said, sometime later I'll probably upload another video kind of giving you a brief tutorial on how to make it a little bit more organic bows. Like, for, um, if I went, go over to the bow of my cruise ship over here, it does, yeah, so it does have a little bit of a different angular setup, but, um, not to kind of confuse anybody, so I'm not going to go ahead and count that, but, 
So this is like um for small and medium cruise ships. This is like a very common bow uh, design. It works. It's simplistic, but it still looks you know organic enough to get the job done. So that kind of summarizes this little like a uh, show like show you or uh, I wouldn't exactly call it a tutorial, but I don't know. Call it what you will. So this is you know kind of giving giving you the answer or responding to the people who have asked me to do a tutorial on bows and sterns i guess i'll just leave this video as bow and i'll do sterns sometime later so you know you don't have to like you don't have to subscribe you know the whole shindig common outro you know i said it before and i shall say it again and i finally got it correct this time you take care have yourself a nice day and i'll see you some other time Bye -bye.